today we will be talking about how we can actually match our shoes with our gowns. Today, we will be talking about how we can match our shoes with our gowns. As you can see, my friend here, Paddy, will be accompanying us tonight. Okay, so these are the shoes that uh, what La Belle Couture usually have. And how will we recommend the shoes is by the colour or the tones of your gowns. And of course, the length of the gown as well. So uh, let's talk about uh, ROM, like those short gowns, right? Usually, our bridal advisors or our bridal specialists will recommend shoes that are more sharp. Like this. You want to get a more of a pointed heels because to accentuate your legs to make it look slimmer and longer. So you look taller. Okay? And then, usually colour tones for ROM dresses. I guess because since it's short, we would recommend you either match your gown or you go for something more neutral. Again, maybe like a pair of silver. It doesn't have to be sequin, like it could be like just a metallic silver pair of heels. You can also even go for something more sexy like a transparent pair of heels. But again, you know, sometimes Singapore, this is just my thought, sometimes Singapore, right, you know, very hot, very humid. And if you have sweaty feet when you wear, oh, got the mist come out one, got the steam steam. So, you know, you can consider, if you, if you have no sweaty feet, lah, definitely go for this, this is a very sexy look. So your ROM will like, look wow. So now we talk about your pre-wedding shoots like when you're going outdoors for like a photo shoot, right? Uh, we don't need, we don't recommend you to actually get like a very extravagant pair of shoes like something like a wedge heel. You don't have to. You can even just use your house like simple heels, like a black pair of heels, or even a wedges. You can, and also you have to remember to bring a slipper with you because actually some of the shoots, right? Because the gown is very long. So it covers your legs, right? You don't even need to wear. You, because anyway, probably you'll be sitting, you'll be standing, then the photographer will be doing his job. Then we talk about the actual day wedding, the very, very big, nice, extravagant gowns. You know, you want to go for something like a safe pair of shoe. In a way, one shoe you can fit for all your gowns. So what we can say is, again, go for colours like this. Transparent, a pair of nude, black, grey. Gradient is also nice. And then also, Silver. This one is like the Jimmy Choo pair of shoes, you know, very nice. Or, okay, if you're someone that you're not a very expert uh, person in wearing like high heels, this is about 4 inch, so you can see, very tall, okay? You don't have to, 3 inch is fine, yeah, as long as a 3 inch can actually step up your height a little higher already. And if you are afraid of wearing, you know, your, your feet might feel very uncomfortable, you can always go for like a wedge. Like a wedge heel. So usually when it comes to, when they have this like wedge thing and the heels is a little thicker, you feel more comfortable. And of course to make sure right, the soles inside that has a bit of cushioning lah. Don't get those too cheap the top of quality like you. I mean the whole day you'll be wearing and then you're gonna be like very painful and tired. Okay, then you will ask me, Sam, why you are telling me to wear all these shoes but you don't recommend me these? Well, it's not that we don't. Again, if you have gowns, like colours, like pink, you know, you can always wear these shoes. Actually, like, for your wedding gown, right, when you wear, like, the white bridal, like, ivory cream gowns, you can always wear these kind of shoes. But what our, what La Belle Couture would recommend is get a more neutral or safe colour heels because in the future, when you're done with your wedding, you can still wear them. You can wear them for, like, event, another friend's wedding, you know, like, a company's, like, a dinner, you can still wear them. Whereas this one, maybe you might think about uh, how do you match a pink heel, you know? So these are like the things that you might need to consider. With, when we talk about heels, okay, so there's a few lah. This is still quite thin, but some people might not see it as uh, very thin, like still okay lah. But for me, it's very, very thin really. Then you, you have this one, wow. This one's so thin, how to wear? I break the heel. Then, that's why we have also heels like these. It's actually a very creative design because it's very skinny, yes. But then, when you look at this part, right, there's a rubber stopper here. Wow, nice and Louis Vuitton inspired. But anyway, yeah, so you have this like rubber thing, right? So it actually stops you from slipping. Like there's a friction and it's a bit thicker here. It even prevent your heels from going into the drain or, you know, the 
I think I get what you call it like the ridges between the pavements lah. So I'll put the image if you don't know what I'm talking about. Or you know what? Just go safe. Thick wedges, thick heels. Then you know you can walk and you will feel very very comfortable. Okay, so we have come to the end of this episode on wedding hacks. So remember <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we have come to the end of this episode of Wedding Hacks. I hope you learned something. Uh, definitely, I'll put more photos for you guys to visualize, to understand more. Remember to actually subscribe, follow all our social media platforms. All the links will be down below. So remember to subscribe, okay, to support us. So remember, Wedding Hacks every Wednesdays and Fridays. I have to remind you guys again, so everybody must know, okay, must support us, must support the welcome. Okay, anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, this is a Okay. Okay. Ah. Mm. 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 Mm.